Hi, I'm Kirsten on the Ryzen team, and today I'm going to be showing you how to load, save, and use some of our new reset scripts. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to load a script. And the easiest way to do that in Ryzen is to just press the L button on your keyboard. It will bring up the script and log window. And the next thing you do then is to just hit open. I keep my scripts in a script folder, but just, you know, point your explorer to where the script's located and it will load it. Uh, the script will execute from the Lua script window. And then the command log is pretty handy if you are uh, a budding script to yourself, because what the command log will do is show you all the latest um, commands executed. Uh, which is handy because then you can just copy paste whatever you did over in the script window and you can then either save or save as. I'll get back to the, the various save modes. Uh, in addition, you can do the exact same thing by just calling it from the tools menu or the tools drop down menu in the menu bar. Uh, and then you can also define script paths and run the script. Uh, define script paths and running the script are the exact same thing as the scripting panel. So in the scripting panel, you just load your script from the lower part, and then mouse clicking the, the top part will execute the script, or it will just show you where the script is located and its name if you're not sure what you've got running up there. Um, the script panel is also pretty handy if you're developing new scripts or debugging because you can of course load all the different flavors that you've been working with. Uh, it just allows for a faster workflow. Um, also, pardon my voice, I've got a cold so it's a bit hoarse. Um, so saving a script, as I explained, is you can either save and then it will save with uh, a Lua extension. Save as will let you save with a Lua or a text file extension or potentially the extension of your choice. Autosave will autosave what you're working on. And in addition, it will help keep whatever you've got loaded in here when you restart or exit uh, Ryzen and come back next time. So clear, of course, is emptying it. It's the same as emptying the buffer here as well. So we've got clean buffers both places. Uh, you can also, of course, create a script in uh, an editor and then just load it or copy paste it over into Ryzen and vice versa. So the first thing I am going to show you after I've just checked if I've got all my scripts loaded is to uh, use the first reset scripts. So I'm using uh, a set from Optimesh um, to show you this, uh, mostly because I I like animals and, what can I say, the render was pretty. So I'm going to load the Rhino first. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, just do a reset of uh, the head and, I don't know, do rhinos have torsos? In any case, the, the, the upper body. Um, the reason for the scripts is that, um, some of you know, I'm a little OCD when it comes to my, my own UVs. And sometimes it's just hassle to press undo, undo, undo. So I started um, doing this instead. Uh, in island mode, you just, no, not island mode, in edge mode, you just select all the edges that you want to weld back together like this. And then you press W and then you press shift R. Now, if you do this a lot of time, it gets kind of tedious, which is why I asked Remy if he could help me look into how to create a reset script. And he created one for me. So what the, what the reset script does 
is that instead of having to choose by edges, uh, I usually just hit F4, select the islands that I want to weld back together. Like so. And then I just run reset script and it will just reset uh, the islands and it will also get rid of the welds. So this is kind of like the the brute force override of the, the three scripts. So there's one issue that I came across which may be good to know. I'm going to load uh, another file for that because it's the only one where I saw the issue when I was messing about with uh, the other scripts. And that is if you, for instance, have a mesh that's not properly cut or Ryzen cannot find the cuts, then you can potentially run into issues like this when you run the, the reset script. You get island spaghetti. And as I said, the reason for that is that it seems that uh, the cuts aren't properly done or they're a bit enthusiastically all over the place. So the, the fix for this is to press Shift R an extra time because then it will actually reset the mesh. I uh, figured that could be good to know because I was really, really wondering what was going on when I saw this. Um, so that's pretty much the only bit of troubleshooting that I came across with the, with the recent script. Uh, I am now going to load uh, the Puma from the same set and we are going to look at weld across islands. So what this does is that it welds and resets islands exclusively. So if I make some cuts on the Puma like this and maybe like that, maybe another cut. Now that turns into islands. So maybe another cut here. Okay. Uh, if I then select my islands and make an effort to weld them together and reset them. As you can see, it will just weld the islands back together and then do a reset. It will not do anything about the cuts I made on the islands themselves. Uh, in order for the islands themselves to to just um, address the cuts on the islands themselves, you're going to be needing the the other scripts or the last one, reset self islands, and it will get rid of the, the islands there. I can show this to you properly. Uh, we'll again load. Another one of the sets. Okay, so here's the walls. And as you can see, the, the foreleg and the torso are just one big island, but it does have cuts. So if you, for instance, gave your island uh, a lot of extra cuts for it to give the the unwrap room to to actually flatten pro properly, uh, I do a lot of my unwrapping manually. So I can imagine it gets a little tedious if you use the auto unwrap functions. But if you, for instance, do this, and you can see that I generated an island here as well. And if I then select the island and then run the script, you see that it does weld together and reset uh, the cuts that were made, but it will not do anything uh, about the, the island that you generated. So easiest way is to just then hit the across islands one because that one will actually help you then. So there you have it. This is pretty much how you use the, the reset scripts. 
Uh, I hope you find them as useful as I do, and thank you for watching.